Well, well, Ben, you must feel like you're really building some momentum now. A couple of league starts, a couple of FA Cup starts, getting the goals as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, just enjoying the football at the minute. Um, so the, the minutes that I'm getting is, is real nice. And yeah, definitely enjoying my football. Was it nice to, to get the goal on Tuesday night, having had the real spectacular at, at Morecambe to follow it up with another really good one? Yeah, definitely. That, that was sort of in my mind to, to follow it up and, and not just be sort of remembered for that goal at, at Morecambe. So, yeah, I was delighted with that. Yeah, because that's the danger, isn't it? You score an absolute spectacular in that game and particularly when you're just breaking into the team, everyone's thinking, can he do it again? Yeah, definitely, yeah. So that was sort of playing on my on my mind anyway. So definitely wanted to um, follow it up, and yeah, glad glad I got the goal on Tuesday night. Yeah, a really sweet strike, and a perfect time in the game as well. In that it made the second half pretty comfortable, didn't it? Yeah, of course. We sort of set out in the second half to to keep the same intensity that we had, and we knew the the next goal was crucial. So it come out definitely a good time. I think all of our goals did really. Um, we scored with pretty much our first two attacks in the in the first half, so that was definitely um, a good goal to get uh, the third one. And yeah, please it was me that got it. So, how many times do you reckon you've watched back the the goal from the Morecambe game? I don't know, probably in quadruple figures now. To be fair, because <laughs> it, it was it was sort of all over social media. So, like at, at the start, I tried to not watch it as much, so it didn't get boring, but. No, I've definitely enjoyed watching that one back. Yeah, I think there's a lot to be said for enjoying the big moments, enjoying the moments where it, it goes well, because not every day will we'll go exactly to plan. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Like In football, there's a lot of highs and lows, so you never know when those good or bad moments are going to come. So, so when they do come, you just got to enjoy them and sort of not get too ahead of yourself and, and just keep sort of cracking on with it, really. Yeah, and you talk about building momentum. It's a funny one for you because you made your debut. We first saw you in the first team ages ago in the EFL Trophy. And of course, inevitably, you've had to, to bide your time a bit. But it, it feels like you've been around for a long while. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's the thing. Like, I was yeah, real young. I think Sean Derry was the, was the manager at that time. So I've, I've definitely had to be patient. And I think that's... That's what you've got to be really. You've just got to stay patient because you never know when that opportunity might arise. So the longer you sort of stick at it, the, the better really. You can't really ever come off doing what you what you need to keep on doing because that opportunity might come as soon as you sort of sort of give up. So so yeah, it's it's just all patience and sort of backing yourself and believing that the opportunity will come and that you'll take it when it does. So I'm pleased to, to have got like a decent run of games already this season. So just got to Yeah. Crack and your role has developed into quite an important one because with the, by and large, the shape that you're using most regularly as a side, if Wes Houlihan is taking his regular midweek break, then mm -hmm. that's when you've been called into the team. And that's, that's quite some responsibility, isn't it, to, to fill the place that's normally Wes's? Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, obviously Wes is a great player and... So that's that's the player which I sort of relate my my game to really that sort of because I'm not the tallest either a small sort of technical player that can that can get on the ball and make things happen so so yeah if I can sort of fit into that role whenever he's away then then I'll take that but I like to be adaptable as well I like to think that I can play a few different positions across midfield so so yeah yeah we've seen you in a few different positions but playing in behind. Joe Ironside if that all goes to plan that must be really nice because he can occupy so many defenders seemingly at once if he can then find those pockets of space yeah Joe is the perfect sort of striker to have especially as a, a sort of number 10 um, a midfielder running off and in behind like which I, I like to quite do you, you just know Joe is going to cause a problem for defenders and like on Tuesday the ball dropped in a nice area and he's sort of put it on a plate like he's got that that ability to to find a pass once he has sort of controlled the ball. And yeah, you, you just know he's going to cause a problem. So it's easy for a midfielder to keep on running off defenders because you know eventually you're gonna you're gonna get the right pass, which you obviously gave me on on Tuesday. Yeah, that worked perfectly, didn't it, on Tuesday night, not only for your goal, but the the movement for yourself, for uh, Sam and for Harvey in behind and to either side of Joe, the flexibility was there and it it really worked nicely. 
Yeah, definitely. Like he causes so many problems. He sort of takes two, if not three, players out of the game at times. And obviously Sam and Nipsey give us a real direct look to our team. And and yeah, that that definitely worked well. And it allowed me to sort of get in behind and join in attacks because our front three were just causing so many problems and pushing them back. So yeah, it was a it was a positive evening on Tuesday. Oh, that's great for me. Morning, Ben. Um, how much are you enjoying being involved with the first team setup this season? Yeah, I'm obviously loving it. Um, probably played a little bit more football than I expected, really, because I think thinking back to the Doncaster game, we had quite a few injuries and obviously a couple of suspensions as well. So it was nice to get them two two league starts. And yeah, obviously we're playing in League One now, which is it's a very good level to to be at. So I'm really enjoying it and sort of loving training. And coming in every day and and of course we've got a good good group of boys so yeah really enjoying it yeah how do you think you're you're performing on a personal level as well yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with my performances to be fair like whenever I've been called upon I've, I've felt like I've sort of coped with the demands and uh the the two league games I think were a, were a step up to some of the cup competitions and I feel like I've I've dealt well with that, so I just want to keep on trying to do that and trying to improve every game where I can. How difficult a season was it last year, given the fact that obviously you're a younger pro and, and COVID obviously had an impact on the, the, the lower leagues, didn't it? Yeah, to be fair, it was a nightmare. Like I think a lot of younger lads were in a similar position and obviously you, you see you've only got like a year left on your contract and there's many times where I've tried to get out on loan and... I think at one point I was nearly going on loan to the conference south and and then that league sort of didn't have well, it stopped. So it was it was very frustrating at times, but to be fair, I sort of used that frustration in a way in, in training and and just try to train as, as best as I could because I knew if I did that I'd I'd give the coaches something to look at and something to be impressed by. So I thought if I just keep a positive attitude and, and work hard then in the long run, that, that should benefit me. So it was frustrating, but in many ways, I think like, I've, I've sort of come good from that period as well. Yeah, we, um, we touched on it as well about um, how you're a similar player to, to Wes. How much are you learning from him at, at the moment in, in training and things like that? Yeah, loads. Like He's been here for a couple of seasons now and like you see him every day in training and, and he does some some real nice stuff. So yeah. Like I just want to keep adding to my game where I can and sort of keep looking at, at the way he plays in games and and sort of, yeah, just just looking at him and, and trying to replicate sort of the things he does in certain situations so I can sort of add things like that to my game. And, yeah, he's obviously a great person to learn off because he's been, he's been at the top level. So, so yeah. Just to round off as well, have you, um, have you been a Cambridge fan all your life then? Yeah, I have. Like, I've been in the NRE, the the end that I scored in on Tuesday, so I know what it feels like to like celebrate a goal. And yeah, I've I've travelled to quite a few away games as a fan, so it's obviously it's been a for me it's been a long time coming, like trying to break into the team, and and hopefully this is my breakthrough now. And being a fan of the club makes it even sweeter. So so yeah, I'm delighted to be playing my part in the team at a minute and sort of giving the fans something to cheer about as well. Yeah, how special is it when you have that that past that you've had being a Cambridge fan and, and working your way through and probably dreaming of uh, being in the first team at some stage to to be pulling on the shirt um, at the moment? Yeah, it's unreal really because sort of when I was younger, that's all, that's all I'd think about and, and I'd love going to sort of watch games and, and I like being a fan as well. So you sort of get that adrenaline on the on the terraces sort of thing. So to be on the pitch doing it now and... And like enjoying it and relishing the moment is is saying that's it's real good. So so yeah, I'm just very happy to be uh, sort of playing a part in the team this season. That's great. Thanks, Ben. Cheers, mate. And just a really quick one. What you're talking about, Wes? Do you seek advice from him? Do I what? Sorry. I seek advice from him. Ask questions rather. Oh, than yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Like anything about his career. Like whenever we're having a chat, I'll. Anything I want to know, I, I can ask him because he's he's sort of like a humble guy. He'll, he'll give you advice, and he's he's sort of there to help us really and give give us his experience as well. So so yeah, anything that I, I want to know or ask, like 
it's always like good to us because he's he's the man really he's, he's been at that level and he has all that knowledge so so yeah and the technical aspect as well because i know it's you're dropping into pockets of space during games which is what wes makes his trait as it were yeah yeah like i, I think um to be fair i feel like my knowledge of the game is fairly good as, as well like i like sort of um like finding out different things for myself and and watching games back and and trying to improve that way from from my own sort of knowledge and and obviously when you've got someone like like ways you can you can watch him in league games and see what he does and see how he adapts to different situations and gets out of certain things like tight areas and yeah like I, I think um he's also a great person to learn learn from and and that's um a big thing for myself having someone like him in the team and around the, the training ground <clears throat> yeah, that's great thanks ben